Rather than using picture boxes to display images, I often use labels. We saw earlier we can embed an image in a label, but one of the reasons I use labels to display images is when I want that image to maybe change over the course of the program. And it's really easy to do that with another component or another control called an image list. You will find the image list control under the containers, I'm sorry, under the components group. So I'm going to scroll down, find components, expand that, and you'll find the image list. Now, this is not a visible control, so it doesn't have to go on our form. In fact, if I drag it onto the form, nothing appears there, and it gives me down in the area called the system tray this link to my image list control or image list object. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for a minute. I can also, in the components, simply double click on it and that will create that object in the system tray as well. Not a whole lot of properties here for an image list. We're only going to look at two other than I guess you could name your image list. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to use Hungarian notation of IMG and I'm going to call this DICE. IMG DICE. The two properties that I want to focus in on are the image size Right now, the default is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. Now, here's one of the things about an image list. Every image in the image list is going to be the same size. And it's easiest if you create your images to be whatever size you want them to be using a graphics package like Photoshop. I created six images of a die, so numbered 1 through 6, and I made them as 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So I'm going to set that as my image size. By the way, the largest you can do here is uh, 255 pixels by 255. You can't go images larger than that with the image list. So I've set my size for my images to be 100, 100. And then I need to bring those images into my uh, image list. There's an images property, which is a collection. Uh, you'll learn later on about arrays. Arrays are another type of collection. A collection is a container that can contain multiple objects or multiple values. So to get to the collection, I'm simply going to click on that image's property and click the button with the three ellipses to bring up the dialog box. Here on the left-hand side are the members that are part of my image collection. Right now there's nothing in this image list, so I'm going to add. Click the Add button. And I'm going to go find some images. Now I have a folder here called Dice. And it contains six images of a die, each of the sides. We can select one and say open, or I can select one, hold down the shift key, click another one down in the list, and click open. It'll bring all six of those in at the same time. So there now are my six images, little thumbnails of all six. Now the important thing to notice is they've been no, they've given numbers here, starting with 0 through 5. So it always starts with 0. These are called index numbers. And if I wanted to move an image up in that order, I can select it and use the arrows here and move it up or move it down. I want these in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, corresponding to my index numbers of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each of these images have properties, and I can give them names. By default, it's going to use the file name, and that's just fine with me. I'm really going to use the index numbers rather than the names. So I'm just going to click OK. And we don't see anything happen to our form. Again, this is not a visible control. But what I'm going to do is bring in a label. So I'm going to create a label. I'm going to set the auto size property of that label to false. I'm going to refer to this in code, so I'm going to give it a name of LDL die 1. I'm going to get rid of the text, which currently is label 1. I'm going to highlight through that and delete it. I'm going to set the size to 100, 100, same size as my images. 
and I'm going to give it a border style, a fixed single. Now here's where, how we connect this label to our image list. You will find an image list property. Right now it says none. I get a little drop arrow for that property. And all of my image lists that I have created would be shown here. We only have one. That's IMG Dice. I'm going to select that. And the next thing I'm going to do is come up to the image index property and choose one of my images. I'm going to choose the uh, side with four dots on it, which is number three. And that now appears in my label. And I'm simply going to select that label, copy it, and paste it. Move it over. I'm going to change this index. Let's make it a, uh, a six. And I'm going to change the name of this label to be LBL die 2. And then so you can see the value of using image list with these little index numbers, I'm going to create a button. I'm going to name that button BTN roll. We'll give it some text of roll the dice. And I'm going to code that button. And I'm going to code it here in C sharp. I'm going to double click on that button. I'm going to create two variables die one, die two. Next, I'm going to create a instance. the random class. And I'm going to name RNG for random number generator. And I'm going to set the value of die 1, which is an integer value, using the next property of the random number generator or RNG uh, object with six in the parentheses. Now we'll create an integer between zero and five. We'll do the same thing for die two. And then I'll take my two labels. and set the image index to my two variables. And I'm going to test my program. So when I click the roll dice button, it's going to change the values that are displayed in my two labels.